Good evening, Track Gang. <laughs> it's been one of those weeks. <laughs> and I'm not even sure why I'm getting ready to get into what I'm getting ready to get into, but hey, it is what it is. Anywho, um, it happens to be uh, Thursday, November the 12th, 2020, day after Veterans Day. Thank you to all those that served. I mentioned that in the last vlog. This happens to be vlog 30. Uh, vlog. <laughs> this happens to be, of all things, this happens to be vlog 42. And those that know me and, and know my military background, I was on ship number... 42 FFG 42 USS Clackring uh, guided missile uh, fast frigate Oliver Hazard Perry class uh, it was uh, in in service from 1983 to 2013 uh, so it served 30 years before they they took it out of service and it's been sitting up in the Philadelphia Naval Yard so anyway that's not what this video is about <laughs> You'll know more about the, about my some of my military stuff this coming Saturday, uh, the 14th. Uh, I'm going to be on the Cross Tankers Railroad. Um, we're going to be shooting the breeze uh, on uh, military service because uh, it's Veterans Month uh, for them. So, anywho, what am I sitting at the bench for? Because uh, obviously you can tell I'm sitting at the bench because of what's behind me. Um... What, what's on the bench this week? Well, what's on the bench this week is something that's been talked about. And I figure, you know what? I'm going to come over and I'm going to sit here and then we're going to take a look at this a little bit closer and see exactly what it is that we've got. So, I'm going to drop the camera down here and there's the neat little plastic container that everything is sitting in. And... What am I talking about? Well, this is what I'm talking about. This is a brass uh, I'm trying to get the draw bar out. Um, this happens to be a brass uh, Camelback locomotive. This is the tender for it. And hopefully in the other piece of, and it is, and there's more stuff in the bottom there. <laughs> okay. All right. So here is the little printing Camelback locomotive. I don't know how well it's going to show up on, or how well it's showing up on camera. This is a brass locomotive. Uh, this happened to be put together or put out by a company called Gem, um, who happens to no longer be in business. 
Um, and I'm trying to... <laughs> That's not good. That doesn't belong in there. I'm trying to remember exactly what was going on with this. And unfortunately, my power pack is behind me. Well, I guess what we're going to have to do is we'll have to swing over... Daggone it! Uh, yeah, I rearranged the, the basement here. You know what? We're going to stop for a minute. I'm going to move the camera. Okay, I decided not to move. Instead, I found a power pack. So, what I'm thinking is... And I would be wrong. I was thinking that the tender picked up power, but it doesn't. Hmm. All right, so we've got nothing, and we've definitely got power sitting there, so that's not the issue. And I know that if I go through the windows, It does run, but we don't have any track power. Which is odd. And like I said, even if I... And this screw here is backing its way out. Wait a minute. Hmm. Okay, so one side of this has got to be, all right, well, give me a minute. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of digging. Well, I got it to run, and rather quietly, too. The only problem is, is I don't know where the pickups are. Which is one of the things that I'm going to have to try and figure out here. Because I think... I'm thinking that the frame is part of this, but where is it picking up for the other, from the other side? That's the issue. Because... Okay. It was, it was doing something there. That was interesting. So that picks up from there, but if I try to... Uh, 
I get nothing. I'm wondering if there's a short. Hmm. Okay. A little bit more digging. Well, it is now Sunday, November the 15th. And uh, unfortunately, my little experiment down here of playing with a brass locomotive has come to an end. Um, at least for the moment. Um, I got it to run for about five feet. And front wind problem is is it's running in reverse of the way it should which that's an easy fix I can I can redo the wiring in there and that, that'll be fine what I ended up finding was is there was supposed to be a wire talking to and you know it's it's funny in this day and age you know I would I kind of explained this on the cross tankers last night you know here it is I was trying to find some information, and of course trying to find information or, or trying to find an instruction booklet for a company that made brass locomotives that went into business in 1982 is kind of non-existent. Um, so, I actually became a part of two Facebook groups uh, that are uh, deal strictly with brass locomotives, um, and one of the guys mentioned that there should be a wire that goes from the tender to the motor. I'm like, okay. Well, so sure enough, there was supposed to be a wire going from the tender to the motor. The only problem is, is the first time when I did it, I didn't get it to run at all. Um, and I think I know what the problem was there. Um, so I went ahead and rigged it up the opposite way and that put it in reverse. Um, but the issue that it's got now is the fact that one of the sidebars, uh, the bolt that holds it into the wheel, um, as soon as it started moving, it came out and well, then that was all she wrote. Um, so, like I said, for the time being, the experiment is done. So, I'm going to go ahead and do something else here for a minute. So, we'll be right back. <clears throat> so, you're going to have to pardon the shakiness. Because this was somewhat impromptu. I figured while it was running, I would try to catch it. But there is... A old Bachman Traxter Union Pacific crew bus. And to be honest, it doesn't like the switches <laughs> because it's only got pickup on the rear wheels. So you can tell I've got some dirty spots on the track. I'm not going to follow it all the way back in the Richmond. But there you go. There's the ugly sucker. <laughs> so we're back again here at the desk. Um, and one of the things I wanted to show you is, is I actually got a mail call. Now, this is something that I've been messing around with. And actually going back, sorry, I've got stuff on my desk from last night when I was talking to the crossed anchors. Um, but this is something that I've been going back and forth with an awful lot and no it's not obviously it's not a Pennsylvania GG1 no this has to do with something else and what it is is and I already opened it and took a look at it because I got it last night um, it's a coffee mug gee a coffee mug with my logo on it <laughs> So if you're interested, you can go to the Teespr my Teespring store and you can go ahead and purchase a mug. And as I've stated before, I plan on taking 95% of what all goes into Teespring uh, from the profit side. I'm taking 95% of that and giving it back to you all. So, hey, morning. Actually, it's 
late at night. <laughs> it's actually not all that late, but it's late. Um, <laughs> actually, no, I shouldn't say it's late. It's only 5.30. So, of course, after being up till 1 o'clock this morning with the crossed anchors guys, well then, but yeah, there's, there's one side and then there's the other side. So you finally get to see what one of my mugs looks like, uh, in sort of in person. It's actually Memorex. Um, so that's that. And I should have, hopefully, a shirt coming. Let's see if I can get this thing back in the box without destroying it. Because this is not mine. And I'll explain that one later. Um, so... <laughs> Anywho, you know, I want to I want to thank obviously uh, the community for sticking around, sticking with me. You know, it's been almost six years. I'm sorry, I'm playing with the tripod here. Uh, I wasn't happy with what it was way it was sitting. Anyway, um, so um, really appreciate everybody's support. I think I'm up to 385 subscribers after last night. I was at 370 something. Now I'm up to 385. Greatly appreciated. Um, if you like what you see, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, fill in that little bell icon because you'll get to see everything that I put out, whether it be my Sidetrack Sunday live shows, uh, whether it be my weekly uh, updates, whether it be locomotive repair, rolling stock repair, uh, operations uh, of, the, uh, of the railroad, so on and so forth. Um, you get to see that if you subscribe and hit that little hit that little bell icon and fill it in and also if you subscribe to my Facebook page because I know unless you've actually got the YouTube if you've actually got YouTube open you get to see the notifications if you don't have it open you'll never know um, so I use my Facebook group page to go ahead and get the word out. Now, I apologize right now for not going ahead and putting up the little blurb that I uh, put out yesterday afternoon, uh, or actually it was last night before I went on to the crossed anchors. I didn't get a chance to put that over to Facebook. Um, I know quite a few folks, uh, quite a few of my followers did show up last night, thank you. Um, and it was a good time. Um, swapping sea stories and then just looking back on you know, my, my four years stint in the military, um, in the highs and the lows and everything else that goes along with it. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and get this video out, or try to get this video out before Sidetrack Sunday tonight. Sidetrack Sunday tonight is Jason the Train Freak, and he's going to be talking about something going on on his railroad. I'm not sure what he's doing, but you all know the deal. Wait for the eyeball. Green tracks ahead. Be safe. God bless. We'll catch y'all next time. See ya.